Hello, we're gonna do the unboxing video of a real gray Gundam Exia. We're gonna build it and we're gonna see how it looks like. So, just finished building this uh, RGX here. Um, these are the extra parts that you're gonna get. You're gonna get two long beam saber and two short beam saber. And then you also have these two, two beam saber that were the peg for your fist hand, for your uh, rifle holding hand to go into. You're actually gonna get six of these Two of them has the pig, and then the other four or actually goes in here in the back of X here. And you do not need any additional pieces to put these two GM blade onto the waistband. And uh, this is a really cool gimmick. And uh, all I did this is just put the decal. Haven't put any panel lining on it yet and uh, already looking very good right now you can see and uh, i mean this real gray is really fun to build and uh, and the amount of details are unbelievable and uh, you could open the carpet area but you don't see the pilot sitting inside so i mean everything is so detailed here and the articulation of this are really, really nice, yeah. So as you can see, they make these, um, can actually open up a little bit to give you more motion, like right ring of motion movement. And then the uh, the two antenna here does popped up on the side. Uh, as you can see, boom. can see really really nice detail and uh, I especially like the head if you can see the antenna a little darker and then the ear also a little using a gray plastic so it's give you like a two-tone look it doesn't not look like all white and you get the uh, extra antenna here just in case if you break them off and you get a one two three set of extra hand these are pistol holding or rifle holding hand or the saber holding hand. And you got the one that is, um, it comes in these like the, the fist hand. And you get two wide open hand also. And you get one of these in case if you want to pull out the, the GN drive, you can put an LED in this here, I believe. And you get two of those uh, look like the uh, master gray hand that uh, I haven't even cut these out yet because I'm not going to use them. So I'm going to leave them right over here. And then these are the adapter that goes underneath the, the garage area for the stand. So if you're looking at this here, the articulation 
of the legs. Let me just remove this the GN source here right now. So it comes, oops, just pop off the C clamps here. So let me just pop this back in here. Okay. So what I mean about this gimmick, so really nice is you see, you can just actually uh, let me get the hands up this way. You can pull this out, push this right back in there. Ball one of the beam saver now. To push this all the way down, and then it closes back. As you can see, so you don't need any additional pieces for this so let me get this out here ah, kind of tight This one is kind of tight here. Okay, there you go, comes right out. Push this back down. Boom, there you have it. So, as you can see, the arm, well, I should just pop out of the arm right now. So, let's put the arm out, put the shoulder armor back in. Oops. Okay, there you go. I just want to keep popping. Let me just remove this little blade here in the back. Okay. So this is the GN saw rifle. This is one of my favorite Gundam weapons. And uh, it just comes all the way back up here. And as you can see from the other side, this is really nice, this GN saw. It's one of my favorite uh, Gundam weapons in Gundam's universe. See? So if you were to have that um, saw back here, it will have a little bit of a interference with the blade though. So you have to move them away and keep them up like this. And as you can see, there's an extra little pick here that picked down with the arm. And this is the GN shield. All it does is just this little, like a little pick on the bottom, hook to this little spot here. So let's look at the arm articulation. So it just goes up all the way to about 180. You can see very nice motion. And then the arm does spin around like this. And then also uh, there's a pop out features. See, you can pull them out, extend the shoulder, so it can give you a little bit more of a forward movement there. Okay, let me get this back inside. And then the, uh, let's look at the shoulder. So the shoulder cannot be moved, but it can only go forward and backward. And there's a little bit of a bowing movement on the front here, you see. And another cool gimmick is uh, you can remove the GN drive here. Oh, oops. Oh, I think I have to, you have to remove this white tab here. Okay, so you gotta be careful. These little parts are so tiny, so it's very hard to, very easy to lose them. And you can yank the whole back out. And then you can actually now remove the GN drive now. Oops, let me put them down. Okay, see? This is the nice GN drive here. Very nice. Oops. So let's put this back on right now. And then put the tab back in here. Uh, 
sorry, these uh, parts are so tiny, so. And it is uh, quite hard to get them back on here on cameras. Okay, there you go. So you can see this is the back of the Exeer. Here's a GN drive. Push it, you can see. Very nice detail on the inside. Push it back in, lock it down. Okay, boom. And the two sword in the back can actually comes out and bend it like this. As you see in the movie when they want to pull out the two blade in the back. And uh, let's look at the leg articulation. Um, so this is about the, the how much the skirt can move. So the leg can only go up here. But the actual leg itself, you see, it can go like this. So really give you a nice range of movement. And the leg joint, it goes left and right. It's like a simple ball joint inside. So I like how they did it with the legs here, you see? So you got that and that, boom. And then the forward kick is, that's about it because the front skirt or on the way. So you can pretty much do a high kick there in the front, but you sure could do a, almost a perfect split there on the side. And uh, it took me uh, about a few hours to build this, and this is definitely a kit that you really want to get. If you like the uh, Double O universe, the X here is one of my favorite um, Gundam in that universe. And uh, thanks for watching.